Well, hi, this is Custom Works. I'm Clint Allen, and today is Tech Talk. I recently just purchased a, another 2000 Ford F250, 7.3 PSD, of course. Got it out of Arizona, and the issue was is that they could never get it to run properly after they put a new timing cover on it. Let's take a look here so you understand what's going on. So to better explain the situation, we pull out the old demonstration motor. Now I know once again I'm talking to a lot of experienced individuals, but keep in mind once again that uh, there are some coming here for the first time. And before I forget, first timers, come on in, join the community. I've made it real easy for everybody to find my videos. You just go down into the description after you're finished with this. You'll find a full playlist of all of our sensor videos that are almost finished. Every sensor that's on a 7.3. You'll have our tech talks for 2022 and 2023. You'll have other interesting videos and some controversial ones. So head down into the description. Real easy. You'll be able to find everything. So back to this right here. Cam sensor, aftermarket parts. Now, granted, this is our demonstration motor, but this right here is what caused the problem. Well, one of the problems on this particular one. So I'll see if we can get that in closer here. This camera sometimes doesn't like to focus. But you see how they went after the bottom right here with a grinder? Don't do that. So, right here's your cam sensor. It is critical, first off, that when you install it, go ahead and put just a little bit of grease here, a little bit of oil, and make sure it clicks. It pushes all the way in so it's tight. It's gotta be tight inside in order for this to properly work right. If this sensor is sitting kitty wampus or it's not sitting far enough in, then either it's not even going to start or it's just going to run for poop. To give you a better understanding, if nobody's ever been inside here, that's why I've got this set up. And this is a timing cover, so they replaced the timing cover on it, but they used a Dorman product. Um, I haven't taken it apart yet, but I pretty much have an idea what had happened. The sensor is sitting too far away from the cam. And it's just right at that point where it still will work, but not very well. So here's a pico of it when it's running bad. And here's a pico of a good way of form of what it should look like when it's normally running. So one of the points in this video is, is that not all aftermarket parts are bad, but there are some critical ones like sensors, timing covers, that you should always get a Ford OEM. Um, the doorman that that gentleman put on that truck is sitting too far away and it might even be misinstalled but either which way aftermarket parts and especially this particular part from Dorman not all Dorman parts all right but this particular part that Dorman has manufactured for them just doesn't work very well um, you could end up easily getting a bad batch and the bolts don't line up properly, or in this particular case, the cam sensor won't sit automatically, which is why they went and shaved off part of the front of the cam sensor. That cam sensor has to be darn near sitting on top of that cam in order to get the best running, the best runnability, and uh, have the best performance. But let's pull this off of here. So this is your timing cover. And a lot of times uh, this 
when we get to the age of these trucks, you know, 20, 30 years old, they do start like to leak. And uh, this right here is one of the areas that feeds the high pressure oil pump. And if that starts to leak, you'll, you'll be chasing 24 hours a day trying to figure out why your truck doesn't run right when it's just leaking down inside here and there's not enough getting up into that hop or you're getting air fed in here. So enough with that because it's really not what we're talking about, but as long as we were here, I thought I'd give you that information. So right here is what this cam sensor needs to be up against. So as the engine turns, it's reading every time it goes past one of these notches right here. And when it goes past that notch, it's telling the computer information, how it runs, how it drives, adjusting components and sensors within the vehicle. So it's really really critical that this is sitting in the hole of the timing cover and once again not kitty wampus crooked or anything like that otherwise you end up with a situation that looks like this it's come in three different flavors and we'll be covering that in the future right now we're just explaining that you got to make sure that that cam sensor is sitting in that port and it's pushed all the way in and if you're using a aftermarket timing cover then what you're going to need to do is make sure that when you install it it's installed right it's properly torqued and then measure before you take off the old one measure your distance from right here to the outside and when you get your new one on there take the same measurement again make sure that this is sitting darn near right on top of this so it gets the proper signal that way you don't have to go through and uh, start hacking off part of the uh, cam sensor which is destined to fail. So I hope you've learned something today and you take it easy and you have a good day.